Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive. So a common challenge that people ask us about is when there are tasks on a project plan or schedule, which take place over a number of days, but they know that that's more when the piece of work's got to take place, and it's only going to take a few hours to get that piece of work done, what's the percentage allocation they need to put to it so that it shows properly in resource management? And then this gets more complicated where you've got a team that's working on tasks which may take an hour or two hours or five hours, and they might have a whole bank of these tasks that God deliver over a period of a week, and they get to work out when they deliver that work. So how do you manage the resource capacity planning, the scheduling for this? Well, you can use a very simple formula to get the right percentage allocation, which I'll show you. So before we dive in, as always, just a bit of a reminder, at Productive, we love sharing innovation, we love sharing content to help enable people to get the most out of Smartsheet, to unlock their potential and transform execution in their organizations. If you do like the content, please do like, subscribe, let others know about it and get in touch. Let us know what other content you'd like to see or if you'd like our help, please do get in touch as well. So let's dive in and have a look at the content. So here I've got a very simple plan and it's got four tasks. Uh, the duration is one day, two days, five days and a week. But what I've put in here is what is the day's effort. So for each of these tasks, it's just one day's worth of effort, which in the case of this plan is eight hours. So it's one day's effort over one day that is 100% allocated. If it's two days, it's going to be a task which is taking place over two days, but it's one day's effort, that's 50% five days, etc. So this is just a very simple formula in here. Now, the first bit of the formula which I've got is if it's blank, so you can see up here, if it's blank, then leave it blank. So that's why I always, oops, sorry, let me come back out. Um, that's why I always like to have this, if something is blank, then leave it blank um, at the start. And then it's just simply doing a calculation of the day's effort divided by the duration of that task. So it knows in numeric terms, that's two, that's five, that's 10. So the calculation is here. Now, for ease of the demonstration, I have turned it into a cell formula, but now it's a column formula, because then if I can add more tasks, so for example, if I now duplicate this task and it goes in, then task five, we know then it's gonna work and calculate automatically. So this then becomes really useful if you've got a whole plan of tasks taking place over a period of time and you want to work out what's the percentage allocation for that task. So let's just take that one out again because where I'm going to go now is in this version is showing you what are the hours effort. So in this case, the hours effort is two hours and then you can break this down to being you know, two hours and the duration of the task is two hours, well, great, the calculation is 100%. If it's two hours within a day, that's 25%. So two hours of eight hours is 25%. And the calculations go on from there. So again, same formula, but in this case, it's just the duration at the row, so five days, and it's times by eight hours. So it's knowing how many hours in five days. So five, eights are 40. So it's then working out two hours of 40 equals 5% on that side. So again, I'm just gonna turn this on so it's a column formula. I always like to use column formulas wherever possible. So what's this meaning when it comes to the resource management side and why is this useful? So here I've got Seb who I've been assigning to the tasks and this is helping me see what's his relative capacity on a daily basis based on the tasks that he's been allocated to. So I can now break it down and see the tasks and if we go further forwards, in terms of where he's got task five, task six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and these are all two hours, and that where they're scheduled in. So in it's saying, well, he's got the autonomy to work out when is he going to deliver this work, and at the moment he's three percent over allocated. So we go, okay, that's probably going to work out. And if I just collapse this down again, you know, this is a way of seeing well, actually, relative capacity. In the prior week, 70%. So what I often describe to people for this is it's a case of being roughly right, not precisely wrong. And so if you know the team members 
and what's the capacity you want to target. So for example, for them to have 80% of their time capacity, etc., and they're using this view by hours or by days, then you know roughly what is that work going to take place. They can choose when to, so then you can have multiple tasks happening over that week. And you know what, if they're going to be operating at 80% or 100%, then they can work out when they deliver it based on that estimate. So it helps you go back to the view in terms of by having this view of the resource management side. And again, this is, I'm just going to come back out to a weekly view. So then you can have a wider projection of tasks over time. And so then this can be really useful when you're looking at this from a team point of view, if you're working on an hours basis. So again, just to recap, it is a very simple formula in terms of the hours over time, for example, let's go, go and recap and show you what the formula is. So it's purely looking at what is the hours effort, you can put that in, and then you can divide it by the duration. And again, if it's hours, then you need to know that how many hours in your day, eight, unless you've changed it to another number, and then it calculates and automatically do that for you. And then you can plan your resources accordingly. So hope that's been useful for those who want to measure this bit. And thanks for watching. Other videos to follow. Bye for now.